Hello guys, um, just a update video on the new features for the EOS in case you're wondering. I've released a new version of it, you can download it on the link below this video. So just copy and paste the template into your mission folder and open your init.sgref and all these, before, before this is the same as the last video, you can check out the other video to see what they do. What's new is reinforcements, the side, and we can enable debugging by typing true there. Deleting it will disable debug debugging. So let's show you this in action. You're going to load the EOS template in your editor and preview the mission. So in this square here, I've got active only one squad and reinforcements. And of course the reinforcements is a new part to this script. Everything else works just like before. In case you're not entirely sure, I'll quickly demonstrate the... Um, okay, let's spawn in a bunch of stuff here. That's because I've got everything on true. So, only what I don't want vehicle here. I don't want an extra squad. So I'm just going to replace true or false with both of them. And we'll go restart. So, like before, we went into the zone, triggers, and spawns a bunch of AI. If we leave the zone, it will delete all the AI. And if we went back in, it will spawn them again, in a different location this time. Before it just spawned them in the center of the marker, now it spawns them randomly within the marker. So, if we look at the map, because we've got debugging on, it will show you where the reinforcements are approaching from. And they're approaching from this way. The reinforcements are given a waypoint, so they'll come straight to the marker. If they won't wander off up here, or down there, they'll just come straight to the marker. You don't have to worry about anything, really. The script takes care of everything. So, say reinforcements spawned over here, but if there's a squad, a blue force squad over here, then it will delete that and look again until it finds an area where there aren't any players who will see them spawn. So, totally hands-free, you don't have to change anything, it will do everything for you. So, that's really all the new features. Uh, there's also a feature to change the side that will spawn, so I'm going to change my playable character to an east player, and of course because it's east we want west players spawning, so what we're going to do, find them, find this, it's the same as before, exactly the same, except it's got 1 instead of 0, 1 equals west, 0 equals east, so it's got 1 and I want reinforcements to spawn, so I'm going to type true there, and if we go into the game, I am now an East player, and blue, blue force people are spawning now instead. And the same applies for the reinforcements. So hope you find this use video useful. Hope you find the script useful even more. And I will see you next time.